Hello, I'm Gretel Colleen and you are watching Big Brother. Now there's a lot to concentrate on tonight, so if you're worried about the answer to Joe's brain teaser, well make sure you get the answer by this time tomorrow night, okay? So stay tuned then. In the meantime, let's cross straight to the square house. And yes, now normally, me, at about this time, <laughs> Big Brother, aren't they noisy? I hope you can hear me over the top. This normally, at this yummy, time, yummy, Big Brother would provide a meal for each housemate. But tonight, yummy, he's decided to increase their expectations by serving an extra meal. Their expectations that another housemate will be entering the house. Hey, young, so which... This is Big Brother. Freaks me out. The storeroom is now open. Oh, that's story. real Big Brother. Yeah, well, yeah that was yeah. real Big yeah. Brother. <gasps> that must be something going As on opposed tonight. to fake this Big Brother? This is Big Brother. Carla, continue your story. Mm. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so it was like, I was just talking to her and stuff, and I was thinking she's running the mum because she looked a really lot older. Not older, but like, these are yummy mummies. Nice. You're looking at 25 you year old. Thanks, mum. Mm. This is Big Brother. The storeroom. He's oh, now open. So I guess he, he, he wants us to go there. love of God, man! He doesn't like his story, Carla. He wants us to go there. Maybe it's all part of the plan. Go for it. Go for it. Lots of dead moths. Yeah, dead moths. Maybe he didn't hear us. Yeah. He wants to I've got it open. What are we getting? Sausages. Oh, oh. Chicken. Sausages. Chicken. Chicken again. I kind of knew we had sausages tonight. Sausages. I swear there's yeah. chicken there. Yes, yes, we have to call them. Sausages. Oh, oh my god, that's even nice. Oh my god, is that feta cheese? Or is that yeah, croutons? Yeah, like it. Yeah, no more Olives. chocolate. Nice. Oh, dressing. Oh Jeans my god, I think we got feta cheese. I've got the dog. Yeah, sausages. Oh, I don't want any of those cherry tomatoes, Pitching. guys. Oh, olives. Oh my god. Oh, I like olives. Olives. Oh, no. olives. Okay, you got olives. You I were just talking. Oh, well, you're just talking about itch. olives. Cheese I was just talking olives. about feta cheese. That's feta cheese. Can, can we yeah. put this make, down there? Let's just make a big salad. Let's just make yeah, a salad. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We can use this bowl. No, there's bowls down there. What's this for? That's. Yeah, I suppose he can take it, I suppose. He hasn't taken it out. So we have some keep I'm going to check the fridge too for um, alcohol. What about sausages? Well, that was unhealthy. What's this yellow oh, my stuff? God. Go on, look at that. I think that's um, salad dressing. Oh, something stinks. Is what is it? Salad dressing? Oh. That is one big moth. This. Check this yeah, out. Hey, right, leave the meat here because it's going to cook it anyway. You can ask plain gymnastics. Yeah, I haven't got the pants to pick it off. Check the fridge for alcohol. Oh, we didn't have any. I'm not going to tell the story. Oh, bananas and milk. Same shit. That is for salad, that big one. Not even any lollies, my God. Oh, God, mate, I went to sleep, mate. What are they thinking? Look at you, falling asleep. Wow. That's... Well, it seems to be taking a moment for them to cotton on to that one. So in the meantime, tonight, two brand new housemates are going in. So let's get to know the first one. Hi, I'm Dan, and I work here at Intensity. You right for change? The good thing about being sort of part-time casual gig is that it leaves me open to do stuff. He's actually truly got a unique mind to him, and it makes him uh, one of the most intriguing people you're ever going to meet. It's like he's got this disco dancing nerd called Alexander Stainthorpe. I think at first people were intimidated by him, but after a while they're addicted to him. I sort of think of myself sort of like the worst case scenario. I'm like a catalyst, you know, I'm just up there putting out a lot of energy and hopefully people can tap into that energy. Probably the biggest insult you could say was that he was boring or unoriginal. I guess I'm a, I'm a constipated artist. I'm like an artist who's never really been able to build up a craft. He's got a TV at home. He's, he's turning it into a cow. It's a slow process of paper mache, basically forming around the TV set. The instant type of art, like photography and stuff, I find really good. You can sort of see the curve at the top of the bread, sort of looking a little bit like wings. I really do think and conceive things visually. I was going out with Penny for about 16 months. Well, this is the book of Penn and Dan. I mean, we even had our own logo, didn't we? Yeah. We designed. <laughs> Yeah, we've got a logo that we... <laughs> I should put the shirt on. The E from Penn. I've forgotten how freaky yes. we were. It's more the idea of Penny now that it was... It's what he's holding on to. The idea of actually just falling completely head over heels with someone. Yeah, it's very, very hard to let go of it, but it's very hard to let go of it. You know, if it has to happen, it has to happen. So I think if I can do that, I can do anything, you know.
Well, speaking of pennies for a moment, the penny has dropped in the square house. So let's see what they say now that they've discovered there's an extra meal. Oh, I'm going to the tea and the spiky drink. I want Bert on. Yes. Come on, uh, Bert. Maybe Tracy will come now. Means you have to cook what? really hey, nice hey, and fish hey. Oh my hey. god. Okay. Anyway, so, so Carlo, can I seven. just say something Eight. first? We got seven. I reckon that would be the most beautiful thing for him to do for taking all your shirts. Oh, if he brings Tracy's in my shirts, I'll, be, I'll walk around naked for you, big brother. Oh, yeah, maybe that'd be interesting. Wouldn't that be lovely? I'll just, I'll be like, you guys, be, guys, look. Is it going to be enough? Can I just have like, the, 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 the bedroom for, like, oh. an hour? And you guys, oh. Oh. <laughs> It's like, Vince, can I just have your... Oh, no, we've got Your actual, double bed for about, got, you know, 30 oh, minutes. Just it's... give me 30 minutes. We go. <laughs> we'll walking All out. right, they're sure now that someone is coming in tonight, so let's get to know the second housemate for this evening, Chrissy. Hi, I'm Chrissy, I'm 29. Uh, Monday to Fridays, I work as a freelance writer. I write all the real estate copies, so the boards on the street... Uh, saying for sale or whatever. That's my work. Incredibly intelligent, quick witted. She gets bored really, really easily. I don't suffer fools gladly. <laughs> can be a little untidy at times. I hate housework. She can be a little messy. There's nothing worse than living with people that don't understand the group mentality. Normal day includes, without doubt, coffee in the morning. Probably she drinks a bit too much coffee. <laughs> Excellent, thank you. Got a head and a heart, both in the right place. Every Monday morning, I rock up to the Commission Flats in Fitzroy and uh, do breakfast for the kids. Two white noodles. We give them whatever they like, toast, noodles, whatever, and send them on their way. She's just a cool chick. Final at nighties. My ex-boyfriend actually banned me for wearing them. <laughs> this is my cat, Joseph. Sleep with me. Her cat sort of turned human because she loves it so much. The true love of my life. I mean, I can't wait to go in if I do. I just think it would be so funny and um, just surreal. Because I can just see them at home looking at me on television and just thinking, what is she doing? Thank you very much, Daniel. Hair and makeup artist to the stars. Hello. And Chrissy, of course, over here. Can Hi. you speak? Yes, hello. Yes. Are you nervous? Uh, a little, yeah. Are you? Do you have any idea what to expect? Absolutely none. Now, no. you two have met only this second? Yes. Only this second. Mm -hmm. And what do you think of Chrissy? <laughs> She looks like a real person. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been missing the influence of new people in your life? Yeah, yeah, been locked away a bit, girl. Who was your companion in the hotel? In the hotel? Um, I had my friend John up from, um, from Adelaide. And, um, yeah, had, had a uh, guy called Pete, who was a chaperone, really good guy. Great. So are you ready to meet a whole bunch of new people? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready now. You are? You, are you psyched, do you think? Yeah, yeah. All right. I wish you both... Very, very good luck. You both look Thanks. fabulous. We're just going to turn our backs to the camera. Goodbye. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Good, good luck. luck. Have fun. And um, hope see I don't you. see you too soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> right, bye. -bye. bye. Okay. On Sunday, I gave up my soccer program and I went and, and she me and her walked around all day. You know what I mean? I was supposed to do that. I could have got fired for that, but it gives a shit. You know what I mean? I played gridiron and stuff. Did my little boy thing showing off, whatever. And I got two touchdowns. I can very impress myself. Mm. Anyway, I need some salt and pepper with these things. Make the big one feta cheese, make the little one without. <laughs> I'll wait for you until I tell the story. Thank you. I hate goodness. We're um, a bit of a routine now. Our routine has to be things. broken. Thanks, honey chunks. Honey chunks. Isn't that I felt chunks. really rude then. Yeah, no, I shouldn't I say that. So bad when he's Sorry, I didn't mean it. Oh, he's on a schedule. I <laughs> really <laughs> did. Thank you, you know thank you. Outside stimulants. Outside stimulants. Outside uh, stimulants. Hey, did anyone okay, else feel really mean when he said yeah. it again? Yeah, clear, clear. The storeroom is now yeah. open, yeah. No, the dominant voice. I felt no. really did rude. I just <laughs> thought that it was... Oh, that's why Big Brother's here. Yep. Oh, anyway, I love Big Brother. So, I really then do. we're like talking all on Sunday and I'm like, you know, give me oh, email address and stuff. We might catch up and stuff, you know, night. thinking whatever. She goes, oh, look, I'm here for another night. And like, we got the hotel for one more night. Because I thought she was in that day. And she goes, my parents got to dinner, but I got the hotel for myself. <laughs> I said, oh, when? God I said, no, but it didn't lead that way. I thought it was. Oh. I said, look at you in all your hotel rooms. So I was getting excited and stuff. 
But then, the and then I go, right, so she, she met us out in the pub because I was going to the pub. All right, they're travelling. And I am joined tonight by the caring and sharing Turkan, the always out there Nathan, and the endlessly fascinating Big Brother psychologist Carmel Hill. Welcome. Yeah. Now let's dissect and analyse. Now, Carmel, you're of course the only person who actually has qualifications to do this. Um, uh, <laughs> and you're teaching. Uh, sorry, Dave, so. you do too. Yeah. Now, we've got two very different personalities here, Chrissy and Daniel. What, what, what sort of, how do you categorise them? Well, Daniel is uh, an introvert, and um, that's fascinating, and Chrissy is our extrovert. Now, what I tend to think that an introvert is someone who sits in the corner and counts their toes, but we wouldn't really send someone like that into a Big Brother house. Well, it's really unusual um, if you think about the people who apply to be on Big Brother. <laughs> Look here. <laughs> um, we tested about 150 um, people in the, from Big Brother 1 to Big Brother 3, and one has been an introvert. Out of all those people, what are the, an introvert gets energy from themselves, is that right? Yeah, an introvert has a public and a private self. They tend to not want to control the world, but they want to understand the world. And their real world are their, their, is their inner world, which is their thoughts. So if you're at home and you're wondering if you're an introvert or an extrovert, an extrovert gets energy from being around Other people, people. Yes. and feels quite drained entertaining themselves. That's right. That's yes. the simple definition? Yes, and introverts need some private time, and that's where they get energy from. Um, All right, now just quickly, I'm going to have to acknowledge you quickly because I know they're going into the house. Nathan is an... Introvert? <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever speak, really. And Mr. Khan is an... Extrovert. All Absolutely. right. Work out what you are, and we will cross now. Oh, no, what are we going to do? Wait, let me hear Big Brother. Oh, no, we're not crossing right now. Oh, suspense, suspense. Our new housemates are about to fly in. Both houses are expecting a new guest. But let's catch up with Benjamin's latest welcome plot. <laughs> You know what we should do? We should go get some sand and put in the beds. <sighs> you know, just again, how you hate living with sand? Just a little bit so that it's, hey, oh, look, it was like ours as well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little drunk, Just a maker. little bit. I love it. Welcome back. You're watching Big Brother. We're working out whether we're introverts or extroverts. I know that in the square house they are anticipating a girl arriving tonight because they want a girlfriend for Jamie, apparently. That's what they've been discussing during the break. Well, we are about to see two new housemates take their first steps into Big Brother land, but which house will each of them go into? Let's cross now to find out. Come on in! Oh my god! 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 Oh my Patrick, Postman Page, Red, and Ben, Red. how are you? Good. Oh, and, and yes. Wilson. Nice yes. to meet you. You've got your own little golf We're course. We're here. This is it. Oh my god. Come on. Do you want to meet the chicken. others? Wilson's that chicken that we painted today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Come through and meet the others. They're in bed. <laughs> and you understand. Like <laughs> All the others are in bed. doing gardening. Yeah. So, yeah, come through. This is our paint. We've crushed oh. the rocks. Oh, the six of those are in bed as well. So, it's cool. Crushing, making paint. Yeah. Put your hand on the wall, blow around it, stuff like that. And we did Wilson. Oh, <laughs> oh Wilson. Yeah. That means okay. we're top and tail. This is the kitchen. There's not enough this beds. Is <laughs> 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 so oh. Oh. This is oh. the There's no okay. one here. Now, I just heard uh, Regina say there aren't enough beds. Is that accurate, Big Brother? Is that correct? Does that mean two people are going to have to share this evening? Or is she just getting carried away? She's just getting carried away. She said today that she wasn't going to use her brain very much in the house, and just then she didn't. Oh, but then neither nice. did that's I. That's a good rule. Don't use your brain in the house. <laughs> I didn't. Well, it helped you, didn't it? I know. It? I got evicted. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been smart. Now, I just want to hear, when you walk into the house, or let's imagine when you first meet your fellow housemates, what's the feeling? Can you remember what that I felt like? I guess you're really excited because you're going to meet all these amazing people, and you want to kind of 
trying to work out exactly where you fit because you kind of look around and you go, oh, I relate to this person, but oh man, that looks totally offbeat for me. And you just kind of find somewhere to settle. I mean, that's, uh, that's the kind well, of thing. I walked, I looked, got out of the car because I was second last and I thought everyone looked like a boy band. <laughs> <laughs> it did, honestly, it looked like everyone's about to break into song. But then I sort of looked at everyone and I saw how completely different everybody was. And when I see all the new housemates, which are like, uh, they, they, I can see some people bleeding into each other, yeah. which is really interesting because like, there was only one to Khan, there was one Shannon, one Marty, and in here I see, like, I can just see similarities between a lot of them, and that's quite interesting because I think they chose really different people for um, our sort of house. Because they gave us nothing, no furniture, <laughs> no, <laughs> no <laughs> food, <laughs> nothing. So when you meet new people, in, what are you judging other people by? Are your instincts in overdrive? Um, they are in overdrive. I think um, most people that we have picked are quite warm. And so those ones you can actually see, they're very engaging with people and people are seeking those people out because they give off these vibes that uh, I'm interested in you. Others tend to be a little bit more reserved and I think Regina, even though she's actually quite warm, held herself back um, just a minute ago. Now, our introvert, Daniel, what would he be feeling at the moment? Like, exhausted from uh, the social pressure? Well, they do have a public self and they do have a lot of fun as well. Um, he actually does think differently and I think you'll start to see that um, um, people in the house will have to take the time to really get to know him because he's going to be so very different from everybody else. And it's just a completely different way that he sees the world. Yes, he actually thinks in pictures. I don't know if any of you do. So he actually um, benefited from Sunday night actually. So by being rejected he actually could see what you look like and he also could see the, um, what the um, audience was like and what um, the presence would be. So he took it all in he and like it all fed in. off it. Yes, and he has a strong fantasy world. He actually stays a lot in his head. And Fantastic. I guess, I guess the situation with them is different too because we actually all met each other together whereas they're meeting each other one by one so that's yeah. totally different. It's a bit more you stress. cannot speak now, Norman. Mm. You have to wait a moment. <laughs> so sorry. You know, sorry about that. I'll go to survival. I'll tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you're evicted. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch, a Cupid, a Cupid struck Carlo has built a statue of the girlfriend he misses. Oh, I know. Watching Big Brother tonight, two new housemates have gone in, and I'm here with my panel of experts, Turkan, Nathan, and our psychologist Carmel. Now I can tell you, during the break, break the Square House come up with two more theories: one that there's another house underneath the house they're currently staying in, and two that Kylie Minogue is joining them this, this evening. Up. I know. It's I think crazy. that's fantastic. <laughs> Kylie Minogue just joined the 60 billion, 60 million dollar mark in you know, the highest paid Why people, not? and she's going to come on Big Brother. $20, yeah, $20, yeah, $20. yeah, that's going to happen. Yes, she might want to. <laughs> Now, what are your thoughts? Carlo, Vincent, what's going oh, on there? issues with them. I mean, the other day, Vincent was just standing around Carlo and Carlo called him Vin. And Vincent just snapped in and went, it's Vincent. Yeah, do you, do you see, like, Vincent's sort of like, Vincent's sort of like Alex, but, like, harsh, really Very harsh. Much. And, like, Very Vincent, rough. like, I've seen sort of, like, the other day, like, when Carlo was pandering around him like, and pouring alcohol into his glass and stuff, and Vincent wasn't even making eye contact with him and stuff. And, and then Vincent said the thing tonight on the Tonight Show, basically saying that, um, oh, we actually just had a conversation because you went to bed. You so, went to bed and we actually had a real conversation and he's having digs at Carlo. Carlo is that tries. I'm Troy Carlo. <laughs> Carlo. Now, is, is there rivalry between these two? Should we keep an eye out for that? Uh, well, Carlo likes to be the centre of attention and he actually is a very nice person on the yeah. but he's very loyal and uh, I think he's a great friend. Well, I saw Carlo in May going in the house, but you said that Car he's not, didn't he's you? He's slightly different yeah. Um, yeah. from you. Don't you see you and everybody, Nathan? No, please. <laughs> I hope not. Actually, Nathan's more of a thinker, I said. I don't say. Yes. Hey, intelligent. Yeah, that's why you get the timing right. <laughs> 
All but, right. Uh, I think with um, Vincent, what it is, has Vincent's very competitive, and uh, he. We talked about having a strong need to impress, and it's important for him, being the oldest in the house, to take control. And because Carlo likes to be the centre of attention, Vincent has to every now and then exert his control. Mm. All right. Now, Irina tonight also mentioned star signs in the house. She was talking about zodiacs and astrological influences. As a psychologist, are there personality traits that do go with particular star signs? Well, we didn't, uh, in our psychological test, use star signs, but uh, there is some evidence that uh, um, certain personality types come under certain star signs. There we go. I don't know about that. Well, it's not up to you, because Big Brother said don't She's let Nathan expert. start speaking. <laughs> shush, <laughs> shush, shush. We have to have a look now at what is going on. Let's go to the Roundhouse. Where are you from? From Melbourne. Melbourne. All right. OK, Ben's from Melbourne too. Oh, OK. Uh -huh. Where are you from Melbourne? Um, South Yarra. Okay. You probably run into each other in the last eight weeks. I was in South Yarra last weekend. No way. Yes. I was at doing some festival. shopping down, down in Chapel. <laughs> oh, OK. Oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> and what? Oh, my mutton friends. This is Did you go to the first audition or the second? What's this for? That they had... This is... Oh. He snores. Oh, he snores. You don't they know. So know. Reggie's in charge of pulling it oh, to wake him up. Oh, I went to the first system. one. I'm from yeah. Tate. <laughs> well, it hasn't worked yet. Oh, OK. Tonight, no. I'm and I went to the first Melbourne audition. Oh, the rest of the tour? I think they had two. No, live. I thought maybe they had two. Now, the housemates in the roundhouse have been very worried about the space for another bed. Big Brother assures me, or has assured me just now, that all will be revealed tomorrow night. <gasps> what does that mean? You are watching Big Brother. We will be back in a moment to take another squeeze at the kids and see what evolves. <laughs> Welcome back. You are watching Big Brother. Now, as you know, there are not enough beds in the roundhouse for all of the people. And dear, dear, sweet Patrick has just volunteered to sleep on the floor. Oh, good on him. Oh, oh who no. wants to marry him? <laughs> all husbands should sleep on the floor, don't you think? All right, now, what we are going to do is get a prediction from each of our experts to come. What do you think will happen in the next 24 hours? I think people are going to get a bit more touchy-feeling in the next couple of hours, even, not the 24 hours, because a lot, no one's hugging in there. What's going on? No one wants to get tactile with each other. All right, that's, that's a very good happening. observation. Mm. Nathan? My prediction is that um, Carlo's going to get louder, louder, and then everyone's going to get really, really annoyed with him, and Vincent more so is going to get really, really annoyed with him, and um, Ben over the road is going to get more annoyed with him. <laughs> it's going to blow up in an explosion, and I say... Pro Carlo. Carlo's all right. Give him a go, everyone. He's OK. <laughs> Just, he's doing stuff in the house. He's making fun. He's the only one drinking beer, I think. So, Pro Carlo. Let's Pro Carlo. Uh, well, I'm a big fan of Carlo because he's initiating activities. He's doing, and I yeah. admire that. He's well, like a, a brownie I know or he's a, a little guy. bit annoying, but, but the thing is, at like... least he's doing stuff. And remember, right at the start, I was annoying. Still am. Uh, Sarah Marie was annoying <laughs> and Nate, Jess was annoying. Nate, so rest your case yeah. right now. Over to our expert, Carmel. What do you think will happen in 24 hours? I think it'll become obvious that there's a personality train missing in the roundhouse. A personality trait oh, missing. No. How many we have a clue here tonight? Oh. <laughs> Obnoxious. Wait, <laughs> Beautiful. What a, a limited number of personality traits. What are they? We've got something missing. Yeah, and I think it will be revealed in 24 hours. What's an example of a personality trait so we can all wonder at home what, what might be missing? Well, what have we got at the moment? Uh, we could have someone who's an irritant. And irritant. <laughs> yeah. Sorry to be so harsh. Right, we'll take this outside, Carmel. Well, I think Big Brother's telling me that we have to round this up. Is that correct, Big Brother? Yes, it is. Thank you very much to Khan, Nathan and Carmel. All right, we now have... Yes, round of applause. We've now got six housemates in each house. But are the houses full yet? Big Brother has a few more surprises up his sleeve and they will be revealed when I'm back tomorrow night with a very special one-hour show, starting at 7.30. I'll be joined by that girl who loves a bit of a chat, Shannon, and the beautiful Johnny from the first series of Big Brother. In the meantime, don't miss The Daily Show at 7 o'clock here on 10. And if you want to interact with the Big Brother phenomenon, go to our website at bigbrother.optus.com.au. I am Gretel Colleen. I'll see you all again tomorrow night in Big Brother land, where now, more than ever, nothing is what it seems. <laughs> oh, you what? And she was like, <laughs> <laughs> on my own. Yeah.
so you had a Oh, so did we? Oh, oh, did all, all of us. Do you know his name? And she was... I want to say Jamie, but I can't guarantee. <laughs> she was, was it this? dark, short hair, and she was in a, sort of a night... Did you see like a hey, baby night in the car on the way out? Greta was like, oh, that's very practical. She was dressed in a dress with a low-cut back. These people that we've heard... Oh, what car were you? Whatever you guys want, you know what I mean? Just take... You can put on a tray and... Yeah, I don't think we're getting one because um just put them all there in the mask. Oh, I've been like this one. There was a one with the plate and a drag. That's it. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.